smoked her. You smoked her. Oh, my heart. You smoked her. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're down here at the Deer Club. We got the Defender out here, the truck, even Bree. What are you doing, girl? I'm about to shoot a big deer. A big deer? Yeah. yeah. You think you're going to kill a buck tonight or a duck? Probably a doe, but I wish it was a buck. <laughs> Now we had filmed a previous video that didn't quite work out. We took Bree to go shoot one of these big deer right here, but neither of them came in. One's name's Popeye because he's blind in the other eye. The other name's Forky because he's a short time eight point. I had her shoot the crossbow. This bad mama jammer right here. Now this crossbow, it is bad to the bone. This thing is like an absolute rifle. It's such a sweet shooting crossbow. It's actually the Raven R29X. You wanna pick that up? You wanna model it for us real quick? Sure. So this badass crossbow right here, this thing's probably gonna slay one tonight. I've never shot a deer with it. You guys shoot a deer with it before I shoot a deer with it. Probably not, but. Probably, yeah. probably. I had bought this crossbow in Georgia when I was hunting with Seek One and Jay Maxwell because I wanted something for a situation like this. My favorite thing is taking people hunting because seeing you know them have a great time killing a good deer is better than anything. I got this crossbow so I can do that in bow season. And Bree, you're pretty good on the sticks, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you think you got it? Hopefully. Yeah. We're going to a stand tonight where we had set up a redneck blind, planted a little food plot, and I haven't hunted this spot in years, and we have no clue what's over there. I have a camera over there on the feeder, and they are just not working. It's been about a week, two weeks, no pictures. Who knows what's coming in over there tonight? We could, you know, shoot a big deer, or we could just smoke a doe, but let's just plan on smoking a doe. How about that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. But without further ado, let's hop in the Defender and head that way. Well, boys, we have made it to the spot. We got quite the walk in here. I needed to park somewhere. No one would mess with the Defender, so I kind of stuffed it in the woods. But one thing about the Defender, man, you can just go ahead, lock all the doors, and no one's getting in this thing. Now, we're hunting a north wind, so this should be an easy peasy go in here and shoot something sit. But uh, we'll see if Bree wants to shoot the first thing that comes out. I don't know. I'm expecting to see some does, some fawns, maybe some yearling bugs, but we really don't know what's in here. The defender's locked up. Hopefully nobody sees it from the uh, the road. <laughs> I mean, no one should see it. They'll probably see it, but they shouldn't mess with it. But uh, field's down here on our left. This field got flooded out probably six years back. And uh, we've always had a problem with poachers coming in this field, people stealing stuff. But uh, it's just such an easy stand to get in and out of without spooking any deer. And very easy to come in here and shoot something. So since the wind is wrong to hunt Forky and Popeye, we're gonna go sit blind and uh, probably smack a doe. You excited, sweetheart? Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah? You stoked? Yeah, I just wanna kill something. <laughs> there you go. She's got it in her. Let's take this stroll down the road and uh, go hop in the stand. You can almost kind of see in there from the road, which makes it good for sneaking in, but not good for poachers. Doesn't look like nothing's in there. stand. Bree's climbing up. This spot is about a little half acre field. Got a feeder on it. Got the redneck up. There isn't any big enough trees we can actually hunt out of. So I had to put this redneck blind up here, which uh, should be golden to hunt out of. Farthest shot possible is probably 50 yards. So anything comes in this field, it can die if we want it. But I'm gonna go ahead, climb up in here, and start getting things ready for Bree. All right, boys, we have made it up into the stand. Check out the view. Got a feeder right there about 30 yards. We got this pretty little food plot. Bree, you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. You've, you've shot deer before though, right? A couple. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where are you supposed to shoot? Let's see the picture. I don't know where it's going to Come on, I'm, I told you. Where is it? Where is it? Huh? It's coming. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Right there. You can even tuck it a little bit closer into the shoulder. Oh, gosh. All right. Okay. All right, get your crossbow loaded up. 
Those ravens are so sick, because even you can look at them. Alright boys, we got everything ready for when a deer comes out, so uh, I guess we're just gonna hang out and see what happens. still sit here though. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Game time? Yeah, game time. Feeder just went off. That's exciting. You ready? I thought it wasn't gonna work. It's game time. I'm ready. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see it. Got our first deer coming in. Finally. That looks like a yearling. You wanna shoot the yearling? So fast, I couldn't even see where it hit her. I seen a little bit of blood come out, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you smacked her. There you go. Hell yeah, she could be dead right on the I never heard her crash, but she's gonna be dead right up on that hill. Oh gosh. I'm yeah, you shaking? I was aiming like right here. Right there, perfect. That's right. I want you to put it. But I could have jerked, so I don't know. Yeah. But you it think sounded like a good hit, and she mule kicked. She shouldn't have gone far. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. When was so, the last time you shot a deer? A long time ago. A like, long time ago. Probably two years. Yeah? yeah? Two years ago? So, literally, this sit right here. We came in because we seen trespassers were down here this morning. I wanted to see if I could come and find them. Anyway, long story short, if you haven't checked out that video, it should already be live, hunting down trespassers. But I checked the wind. It was wrong for the buck. So, the next best thing was to let her come smoke a doe. Let's go. 
Now this stand, the camera hasn't worked since I put this stand up, so I don't know what's in here. We're gonna sit for the rest of the hunt, just because, and uh, we're gonna go track your doe. What'd you think? You think you got her? Yeah, Benji I hope I her? did. Yeah. I think I hit her in the right spot. <laughs> I hope so. Hell yeah. Go ahead and load up. Load up another one. We're gonna sit back and relax and uh, maybe shoot another. I'm so shaky. Oh, you smoked her. The you right smoked spot? her. The right spot? I mean, smoked her. Is that the right spot? Yo, her heart is no longer there. Oh, gosh. I mean, you couldn't have went down there and poked that arrow in a better spot. I guess my picture helped. Yeah, you could not have put that in a better spot. You killed it. Hell yeah. Well, boys, I think we're going to go ahead and climb down and go find this deer. Now, we still have an hour and a half of shooting light left, but that deer's enough meat for us. You know, if we need another deer, we'll come get another deer. But the probability of a big buck coming in here is pretty slim. But uh, I definitely think we'd see some more does if we waited a while. But I don't want to wait. We got good filming light. Let's go find your deer. I hope we can <laughs> find it. Oh, you smoked that dog. Let's get on out. Let's go ahead and climb on down out of this redneck. This should be an easy tracking job. That deer's heart is shot out. Jeffrey Dahmered that mother. <laughs> go ahead, throw the bag off. It's obvious we're gonna have to go get the defender. Cause you smoked him, right? Yeah. Smoked him. All right, you gotta go find first blood. I'm not gonna help you. Okay. So you gotta go find your arrow and first blood. All right? Okay. All right. I mean, I watched that footage back. I'm talking about shot the heart out at 30 yards freehand. Don't help me. Don't help you? Kinda wanna look though. Okay, well you gotta watch out, you don't wanna step in. And honestly, considering how good the shot was, I didn't see a whole lot of blood come out of her. But I mean, I'm talking about smoked her. Where's the first blood at, huh? Do you see it? Uh, not yet. It looks like she's coming. Right around here? Yeah, and then she took off and she went this way and beard. Your arrow, there's blood. We got blood all right here. All right. Where's your arrow? Where's your arrow? There it is, see I've seen it in the binoculars. Oh, here, you, you, you get your arrow. Just don't get too much blood on your hands. That freaking crossbow. Ah, puts it I can to still it. shoot it. Man, there ain't any blood on that. I'm really impressed that there's no blood on that. I mean, none even came off my hands. Yeah, we got blood right here. That's a good sign, that's a good sign. Right there, watch out, she turned. So you need to follow this trail. And the key is, is don't go any farther until you see more blood, because you don't want to step nice. in it. There's blood right here, blood, blood. As big as that broadhead is, I mean, this should be a cakewalk following this deer. Blood. These leaves should make it easy to track her. Oh yeah, there we go. It's going now. Blood going up the hill. Oh yeah, look at the hill. Oh yeah, there it is. Do you see her? Yeah, I see her. <laughs> she didn't go 20. Uh, Come on, up the hill. You got her. Look at all the blood on the tree. Let's go. Oh yeah, she's pouring now. Oh yeah, you can just see it walking. I mean, you smoked her. Could not have put that arrow in a better place. Come on, drag her up. Come on. Yeah, that's a pretty big doe. You got it. Yeah, big muscles. Yeah, you you smoked her. No, her heart sits right there. Her heart almost sits in between the shoulder blades. There you go. Come on, let's get a picture. Get down. Let's see it. Let's get that hero shot. Oh, she's so warm. I'm sorry. She's so warm. <laughs> there you go. There's the hero shot. Absolutely smoked her. Could not have shot her any better. That deer is gonna taste good too. Probably a good hundred pound doe. What does that mean when it's bubbling? You got lung. Lungs give off bubbles. The oxygen in them. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. <laughs> All right, now you gotta drag her down the hill. Oh, jeez. Yep, let's see it. Come on, buddy. There you go. Get to work. You got it. Bree didn't realize she was coming to get her workout in. These are the shoes your mom got me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> there you go. I'm just glad it's all downhill so she can actually do it. Here, I'll get it if you want. I'll get it to the field and you do the hard part. I get it to the field yeah, and you do I'll the hard part. I'll get it to the part and you Teamwork? do the Teamwork? No, you got the hard part. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can go now. I can go now? Here, here. I am happy to take this doe out of here because we really have too many does on the side of the property. We have no bucks over here. Same goes across the road right there, probably 300 yards away, and across the road right there, about another 300 yards, no bucks. But I'm talking about 12, 13, 14 does in a corn pile at one time every day. So we have way too many does up here. I'm actually gonna be hosting a guy's trip up here, bringing like six guys out here, and we're gonna eliminate these does. But uh, Bree got the first one, so uh, it's about to be picture time. What'd you think? That was nerve-wracking. You're nervous? Yes. What are you gonna do if uh, Forky walked out? Oh, I was gonna show shaking like crazy but i would have hit him yeah you would have hit him yeah Grace, so what you think you get her or what yeah i got her she's dead she's dead how dead 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 <laughs> Is Forky next? Yes. For, yeah. Or Popeye. Or Popeye? Popeye. Again, here are the pictures of these two deer. Now, we went and hunted for these the other evening. We probably seen, how many deer we see? 
I think we've seen four deer that sit, but uh, Forky or Popeye never came out. Today the wind was wrong, so hey, we went a little grocery shopping, cleaning up some of the doe herd. Let's go get the Defender. Well, we're gonna run, go grab the Defender. I gotta find the keys to that thing, so hopefully I can get back into it and come pick this doe up. I might take this one to the processor, if I can find one open. I want some summer sausage, that sounds wonderful. Oh, pulling back into this old field. What do you want, Bree? You want it to be uh, summer sausage or burger, um, jerky? You tell me. Everything. Oh, everything. Jerky, especially jerky. Jerky. Yeah. Homemade jerky or processor jerky? Homemade. Homemade. Let's get this thing loaded up. You want to take the camera? I'll do the dirty work. Luckily, this dough ain't too heavy. Probably 85 pounds. Takes up a lot of room in the defender bed, I'll tell you that. I'd say that doe's probably two years old. A dead doe's a good doe though, and that one will be tender. And now, we get to go drop her off and enjoy our evening at the house. That was a quick hunt. Remember when you told me the next time I shoot a deer, you'll take me to Pop Joe's? Oh gosh. <laughs> Sounds like it's a pizza night. <laughs> good, get the bags closed up. Throw these in the back. I'll tell you what, that little raven is bad to the bone. I mean, those guys up in Illinois that I hunt with, they used to shoot them. They're shooting big deer. We got small deer down here. I'm talking, they're shooting 250 pounds, huge deer. I'm telling you, it just smokes right through them every time. To the clubhouse? To the clubhouse. Let's go. Hopefully we don't run out of gas. Oh man, we've made it back to the clubhouse. Oh, and we gained fuel. Look at that. We were on one bar. Back before dark, baby. That was a very quick and easy hunt. I honestly thought this doe was a little bit bigger. I want to call her a yearling because when I seen how big this doe was compared to that button buck that we had in there, I mean, this doe was a heap lot bigger than that button buck. So I figured she had to be at least 100 pounds, but she's probably 80, 85. But uh, you absolutely smoked her. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I hope she didn't have any kids. <laughs> No, I don't think so. But I'll actually be taking this doe to a uh, processor. Never took a deer to a processor in my entire life. Since I've developed kind of being allergic to deer, yeah, no, right? Braden allergic to deer. It started the last season, and like I just start sneezing and freaking my throat closes up. I had to clean a deer the other night. Man, I just, I don't even like messing with that anymore. I'll still clean deer, but uh, we'll let the processor handle this dude. Oh, well, she definitely had a yearling. She's got milk in her udders. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a small doe. You think it was the button bucks mom? Yes. You think it was the button bucks mama? <laughs> That's so sad. Do you think you can live without her? Yes, 100%. I was surprised that the doe was still with her. That's curious. I wonder how long it takes for a uh, doe to actually create milk. I'm very surprised that doe has uh, milk in her udders. But let's get this thing on the trailer. Apparently I was on the throttle and not the brake. Drive on up here. Is she getting the ramps? What are you doing? You're helping? Yeah. You're getting the ramps? No way. We got a winner, boys. Now the real question is, can you ratchet strap the front down? Let's see it. I'm, I'm curious, let's see it. You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous? Yep. Keep going with it. Crank that thing. Crank it. <laughs> Crank it. How One more. Yeah, there it is. Now tie that up here. Can you, do you know how to tie knots too? You just do it all, huh? Not really. Cinch it. Be good enough. Well, boys, this might have been a short video, but uh, I'm actually flying out to Illinois here pretty shortly, and uh, I wanted to get Bree on a deer before I left. I already got my big 10 point, and it was Bree's turn to smoke one. Too bad we had the bad wind, and I really wish we would have shot Forky the other night, but I don't know with how the wind is if we're going to get the chance to hunt those bucks again. But we got you a deer. Yeah, I got a deer. That's, That's what matters. <laughs> we'll get them after I get back from Illinois. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. I guess. I mean, you practically can come down here and hunt yourself now. It's going to go without me, hunt all my spots. I would, but I would be a little scared walking in the dark. Yeah? I could do it in the daylight like this, Uh huh. but mm -mm. not dark. I'd be <laughs> well, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'm going to take this deer to the processor real quick. Hopefully, I don't have to gut that deer before I take it to a processor. I have no clue. Never took a deer to a processor. But uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Yeah.